What is up, Gem Smashers? We're going to look today at Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. All right. Um, probably one of my most disappointing five-star silvers. I, I haven't used him since I took him five-star silver. I expected his gem damage to go up quite a bit. And in the meta today, the gem damage guys just aren't what they used to be. I think... If they end up doing something with the metals where the single color ones end up getting a bigger percent and they, they bring gem guys back into the game, that he'll be amazing. And they're going to have to do something because when 5 star gold drops and we're sitting here looking at 3 million HP to take off of people, we're not going to be able to do it with move damage. So we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. But there is like a couple ways to run him. I'm going to show you two. One is just hit him as hard as you can, easy to recycle with low charge moves, and another one is complete board control. And it takes a little longer, but it gets the job done. So the first move set I'm going to run is the one that everybody's uh, using. It's a 5 charge black, 27k damage, use one column to make it multiply gems of strength 4. 5 charge black does the exact same thing except for it's a row. And a 2 charge green. 15 or 16k damage two by choose a two by two area to make it across breaks so you're going to set out your row set out your column make right in the middle uh the, the cross breaks Let's break them you're going to break two rows and two columns every time now let me do the entourage and then i'll get into like other acros and why i don't use him um you just need a million dollar man to get in a few to get going and you could probably even use him in a uh, showdown with the next move set I'm going to show you. But uh, let's do this one first. Then you're going to have Matt. If you don't have Matt because he's out of the game now, he gives you plus two on the multiply gems. You could use Demon Balor. But when I was in practice, I was getting 64k, I believe, from my multiply gems with him. And then when I brought in Balor, because they're times seven gems, I dropped down to 56k for my blues. And then I got Rock in. Rock's going to give you another plus one. And Rock's pretty rare, and you have to have him at five-star silver to get this extra multiply um, gem strength. So he hits even weaker without him. And So take a look and decide if you really want to build him, how much you like him. Everybody was saying Dragon when five-star silver dropped, so I took him up right away, and I've not used him once. And then I, I, I had in um, Z Taker for 5% to the multiplies, but I ended up having a lot more damage with Hogan. And Hogan's not even at uh, his max yet. He, he's at 12%. He gets up to 15% as soon as I get his star fill. Or level him up some more. And let's take a look at my strap. So I'm running Double Fury. And I got this is 30k to my black moves. And then I threw in whatever had gem damage because he's breaking a lot of multiply gems. They end up times seven. And let's let's actually look at the other the other acros that are available. Oop, that's manage. I wanted to do replace. Oops. Let's put this over there. <laughs> my bad. Replace. Okay. So we'll go by class. One more, one more. Where are you at, Acros? All right, so you got four sitting there. He's a million every single turn. And then if, he, if there's a bleed um, lane bonus, he's absolutely lights out. And then Zeke Taker, if I took him to five-star silver, he's about 1.2 mil a turn. Absolute beast. Uh, Andrade, I don't have his gear, but he's kind of whatever. You know, Triple H is actually still pretty good. If people build him and, and you you got to finagle the board, I'll make a video on him. You could get all three moves off every single turn. When I think it's blue, blue, purple, or purple, pur purple, blue, something like that. He's really good. But I would I would have liked our Truth over Dragon. Um, I would have absolutely liked HBK over Dragon. That was actually the choice I had to make. And I went with Dragon, and I'm quite disappointed about it. I know HBK can hit you for a million. He's hard. He recycles, but then there's no blues on the board, so it gets kind of dry. But usually one mil damage, and people aren't getting up. You know, multiply gem uh, coaches. 
Yeah, they affect these guys, but I never see them in feuds. I don't know how often you guys see them. Maybe it's because I don't use a ton of multiplied gem guys, but I just don't see those coaches. There's so many offensive coaches now to buff our moves and stuff in a feud. I don't really see it. I could be wrong, but I just don't. And I know Shelton is an absolute freak, except for feuds when that gem uh, generation minus perk comes into play. It really hurts him. I wish they would take that away from special gems, but, you know, there's still some good ones. The um, plates are broken right now, so Macho would probably be a freak. There, there's just a lot more other options. I would, I would, there, there's at least five guys here that I would take over Dragon, and he's one of my only two five-star silvers, so <laughs> it is what it is. I'll have to correct that in the future at some point. And we'll see what five-star gold does. Anyway, let, let's get into his, uh, his gameplay. And there is two ways I want to show you. Now, if I could figure out a way to like buff up, buff up his gem defense and this pin was big enough in a feud, I would, I would probably use him more. I guess whenever there's a um, multiply gem lane bonus, I should be using him because if it's 100%, this is going to be double. So basically what you're trying to do is you want to pick up at least one multiply black and... All right, so let's go right here because there's blacks, blues, and greens. But to recycle, you got to catch one black. And then let's just go straight across this way. And we're going to pick up one multiply black. See, when you put the cross breaks on, you're losing a couple of your uh, multiply gems, which kind of sucks. So we could put this right here, and we could break either the green or the black. Let's just uh, let's break this guy. So you're breaking two and two, and that's a really nice cascade for him. Oh, wow, really nice. 800K reduced to 640K, but that was like the best you'll ever see him do. But then watch how like people can get out of these pins. That, that's kind of rare. I usually get kicked out of. I got to go a second or even a third time sometimes through his moves to keep people down and I'm not I'm just not using that in a feud but I am next feud if they have that uh, multiply um, bonus I'm gonna use them and see how it goes because if he got a hundred percent man that would be nasty right because then it would have been 1.2 mil it would have been 1.6 reduced let's do this again and we'll see that was like a crazy cascade that you're not gonna get that often Sometimes you don't even get one at all, so <laughs> that was, like, ideal. But yeah, 600K is just, oh, it's so borderline being enough to keep guys down. It just, it's so close. 800K, I feel a lot better about it. Uh, let's do this one. Those are blacks down there. We're going to be straight with that. And then let's come across. Are there anything blues on the, nah. Let's just hit this. We're going to lose a couple of these, these blues, but that's okay. And then let's put this here. Oh no, I wouldn't get the top one right there. Darn it, I didn't really do that right, did I? I think this is good. I don't play them enough to really feel comfortable about every time I'm placing stuff. All right, that one worked. So, so here, there you go, 700 reduced to 550. That's pretty common. That is very, very common for him. And there you go. Now I got to do it again. And if, the, if this was a feud and I'm using it against like their best guy, I just lost. Because they're going to hit me so friggin' hard I can't get up. And then you're wasting health packs and you're wasting time going through it again. So here we could pick up one blue there. And the black we need. And then we'll pick up... This cross. I don't have. Oh, I have one blue. Okay, that's enough. And then we'll set these. Let's set them right here. And then hit this. Oh, I almost pressed the wrong gem. See how that did. Yeah, see, six, 660 reduced to 510. Now he's lower health, so he'll have a hard time kicking out of this. 
But if he catches a cascade, he could easily get up from that. And that's just, that's my issue with him. It's he's not bad. He could be your best acro, honestly. I mean, the other guys I was mentioning are super, super rare. You know, like Ford, HBK, um, R-Truth. I, I would actually almost put him um, equal with, like I said, R-Truth, but probably Triple H, man. You could build Triple H up to be an absolute machine. I will, I'm going to make a video on him. He's only four-star gold, you know. I, I, lo I love making these gameplay th videos, but I can't always make them of guys that I, I only have 5-star silver, 5-star bronze. Because I don't have that, you know, <laughs> I'm going to run out of people to make. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's show you the other way to run this. It is super slow, but complete board control. It, it, they're going to get one turn, but never have MP. And as soon as they get some MP... You're, you're taking it away. It's actually kind of neat. Um, I was doing it with this. You could run it with this move or the finisher. Either works. They work about the same. The finisher is blue, 10 charge, 62k damage, choose a 3x3 three three area to destroy. I like the 7 charge blue, 46k damage, choose 6 multiply gems to destroy because it's lower charge. So you always know with this 1 charge green that gains 3 MP, you're straight. And then the other move is a 7 charge sub, it's blue. And you make 16 submission gems, you do 9k damage for 5 turns and everything turns into multiply gems of strength 4. And then for this, for a feud, you're only you're gonna get three off of that green move. Plus you start with two, so you only need two blues. So you don't have to have uh, Lawler. You could actually uh, put Lawler on somebody else and run it with who else is the blue? You can run it with Lacey or with AJ. Either way, this is gonna keep you turn one in a feud. That way you can use Lawler on somebody that needs it more. And we're going to keep in the modifier guys and all the gem strength guys. So we're just making one small change where we're bringing in three totally different moves. But watch how many turns it's going to take me. It's going to take me like six times through. But it is complete board control. You're not going to get hit except for people's gem damage. That's about all they're going to do. But if you're going to go against somebody with a one charge move, this isn't going to work. But you could use this against Lee. I mean, you're going to jack his... Uh you're going to jack all his MP. He's never going to get a move off on you. So it, it will work. So right off the bat, you're going to charge up your blue with that green move. Then you're going to throw the bunch of subs out there. And these are all going to turn into time seven gems. And you just you really just need the like one blue to survive. There's no blues that we caught. But it's not going to matter. At least it shouldn't. The second time through, I should be able to hit that green and be fine. When I was doing some testing, though, I might have always had a blue catch. Whoa. What was that about, buddy? All right, I don't want to take my blues off the board. So right off the bat, you're going to hit this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, you don't need a blue to survive because you're going to use this, and now you're going to break a bunch. You want them to survive just because they do the most damage, right? But... You're always going to have it because that one charge green. So now you're just going to take like your biggest gems. Or you can try to cause a cascade if you see well, like an obvious one. Um, I really don't. So we'll just take that. But that's not bad, right? 400k reduced to 100. So now he's filled his moves. But it's not going to matter because now I'm going to take them. I don't even have to hit this move because on the next turn my stuff will be ready. So just hit the sub again. But do you see how slow it's going to be? But if you're going up against somebody that has high charge moves and you don't really have somebody to like one turn hit them, you could absolutely do this. It's just going to take you a while, but it's going to work. So it doesn't even matter if he grabbed a blue or a purple match right there because now I'm going to get the sub ready. You don't have to even hit a blue. And then let's, uh, I don't see any cascades again. You know what, I do see one. We can make those yellows drop. 
So we'll take this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. And those yellows will drop in for us. You know, see, he's got he's got nothing for us. It's just gonna take a minute, so we're gonna hit the sub again. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of sub uh, style gameplay, but I just wanted to show you a lot of the videos I've made so far. I've only really shown one move set, except for Luke. He has like freaking thirty of them that he <laughs> said, and they're all so damn good. But I'm gonna try to start showing you guys a few different. Uh, more move sets, even if they're not like the most OP one. That way, you kind of get a feel for it. I'm not ever going to get into like this is their three, four, five star set, um, but I will show you different variations because most of the time, if you're using somebody, you're going to be using them at five star. That I mean, we're almost in a five star gold. So, like when we were doing, uh, hold on, I don't see any cascades again. Oh, I can make. Those reds drop in. Here, let's take that, and then that, and that. And we'll get an extra one when the reds break. You know, like when, when, when uh, you know, five-star bronze started, we weren't messing with any three-stars anymore. You know what I mean? So it's almost the same thing now with four-stars. Four-star gold's still a little bit viable, but barely. And in a month or two, when five-star golds come out, you're not messing with any four-star golds anymore. Okay, we won. So, barely, but that got the, the job done. But it, So that's going to be slow. But it's going to completely control the um, your opponent. And they're never going to get a move off. The only way they're getting a move off on you is if they hit you with uh, like a five break. And they catch their color on the five break. But, you know, and it happens. But that's not going to be something that happens often. And the other way to do this... Um, Oh, and before when I did it, I had a 50k blue gem damage medal on. I didn't put it on for that. But every time you use the sub, the 50k damage would click. And every time you use the blue move, the 50k. So you would have been getting another 100k per move set, per cycle um, doing that. So let's, uh, let's bring in the other blue move so I can show you. And I'll actually bring in a, a stronger uh, um, medal. Hopefully my video doesn't crap out on me it's been happening for like weeks now um oop not entourage uh titles 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 yeah titles and i wonder if i have a fury i don't i don't even have one built in use let's see what this one is okay let's equip this Ooh, i'm short i'm short what the, i need to get, i need to do some farming man let's uh let's sell something we need 1,000. <laughs> I can't believe I was short. I took the um, Dawkins 200% green metal up recently, and it was expensive. <laughs> it was mad expensive. And we wanted to stay Fury, because that's what I'm running, a double Fury. And I mean, you could probably try double armor and see if you can do a big enough pin still to keep those guys down with that original um hit with the other set the black black green but you're going to be losing a lot of damage to to the thing so your pins will be smaller so uh if anybody's actually tried that and it works please let me know um i don't want to really spend uh you know 100k uh, metal parts doing or trying that but this is the same concept so that one green is going to keep keep everything charged but this time i think you need to catch a blue because it's a 10 charge not a seven charge or you need an extra turn so when i was practicing this is why i wouldn't use this move plus you're only getting to break a three by three so you don't get to control really breaking six uh, multiply gems but on the other side you could also try to target two or three blues to keep the recycle going so it's a little bit of give and take there and you always want to make sure you hit this to try to get your sub back up. And now we know that we're going to aim for that blue on the bottom. So it's basically whatever's with that blue is what we're getting. So we could probably we can catch uh, that. And that's going to refill us. Even though it's just 7, we get to use that green move again. And look at the damage though. 200k. But our sub's loaded. 
So that that's the goal. And you're just trying to like, you know, bleed them out basically. Now this time we have to hit this move because otherwise on our next turn we would have been one blue short. So we're good. And you see how I'm getting 30k move damage when I just did the sub? If you have a 50 or 60k metal on, you're going to get that damage when you use a sub. Even though your sub's not doing damage, it's just doing the damage per sub turn. You're going to get that 50 to 60k. It's kind of, That's pretty cool, actually. So now we're going to try to refill that. We don't have one on blue. So this time we need to... Um, we're, our sub's going to be fine, yeah. We but reloading the finisher is going to be like a task right now. So we want to break at least. Shoot, there's not a lot. If I just take this one and on the next turn I use it, I think I'd be one short. I got to catch two. I have to do this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had my finisher ready when it was time to use it again. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is why I wouldn't use this. You saw how much easier it was with the seven charge that choose. Multiply gems to destroy. It's just, it's a lot safer. Alright, so now we gotta load it. And on the next turn, we're gonna get four, four blues. One from our turn. And see, we're gonna, it's exactly what we're gonna need. We would have been one short on the next turn had we not picked up that second blue. So if we would have targeted the multiply gems on the bottom right, we wouldn't have been safe. We would have got stuck. And if he got his moves charged, we would have been in trouble. But you see how slow this is, right? Like, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Just, just use the other move. Hit him as hard as you can. <laughs> All right. And now we know we're going to have our finisher ready. So we got to pick up two blues no matter what. So now, same problem. We can't take all these multiplies because we need these two blues. That's like, that's like a tough way to try to go about this. So even though we're getting that extra 30k every blue move, man, this is like a 10 turn thing. He's just never going to hit me because he can't. <laughs> I have him completely controlled right now. Like, but if you're in a, um, if you're in a tour and it's an event, and you need to use, like, Dragon for something, this is great. Like, and if you're not built up, you could just do this all day long. Oh, that's another thing I meant to mention. His coaching ability is amazing. He's giving 50% um, to trap, da trap gem damage. I'm, I'm about to make a rock video, and it's so helpful for Rock. So when Rock has that purple move that does a certain amount of damage per trap gem, Dragon's giving you one extra tra trap gem and 50% damage to each of them. So if you were going to be doing 500k, now you're doing 750k. Uh, then we finally got to, <laughs> got to break some, man. About time, huh? This should be a nice pin, too. 230? Yeah, hopefully that's enough. I don't know. So yeah, he's, in a, he's a great, great coach. Probably one of the best coaches in the game. And he helps so many guys. There's a ton of trap guys. You know, Walter, Rock. Um, who's the other one I've been using a lot lately? He, it's not coming to my, to my head. But yeah, he's, he's, he's helpful. He's really... Oh, I didn't need to use that move that time. I forgot I was going to use it on the next turn to fill the um, finisher. Yeah, he's a great coach. But if you guys have another like style of gameplay, man, let me know. Like, uh, I could be playing him, you know, quite right. It wouldn't be the first time. I just don't think that he hits hard enough at. I didn't do the. Oh yeah, I didn't need to do that that time. I I don't think he hits hard enough at five star silver to keep another five star silver down. And if you hit, if you go into a feud and you took him up against Lee, right, and you hit Lee for 600k, you know, Lee's getting out of that. And then he's going to get up and just demolish you. All right, we got to catch two blues. And you're going to lose. All right, we finally got through it. 
But that was like ex excruciating, you know? I, that, that was at least 10 turns. It had to be. <laughs> it had to be. This video just kept getting longer and longer because I wanted to show you that. <laughs> let's try, let's, let's go back and just do it one more quick time. And we'll hit this guy as hard as we can and see if we can't uh, knock him out turn one. I think the first match we were able to, right? And then the second match, it went to two turns. So we'll bring it back. We'll bring everything back. Um, column, row. And the cross breaks. He might even be interesting uh, for showdown if you can get him to hit hard enough. And then who did we have? We had, uh, who was it, Million Dollar Man? I haven't tried him in showdown because I don't want to use double MP trainers because once you lose Matt, you lose everything. That's like a ton of your damage. I'm not even going to move the metal around again because I couldn't if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't have any parts left. I'm going to have to do some farming today. I, I, I can't believe I had to sell a strap or sell a metal just to move a metal. That was crazy. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how hard we can hit this punk. You remember, you always got to pick up one black gem. And I think one green too, right? Because it's a two charge. Yeah, you got to pick up a green too. So let's put this right here. Uh, I don't want to lose my blue. Let's put this here so we can get that blue on the other end. And then... Yeah, we're, we're going to have to put this sucker right in the middle. Oh, well. I don't like that you have to put them over some of the multiply gems and then you end up losing those multiply gems. But it, it you, know, you have to. So that was 760... Ended up reduced to 600, and we'll see if that one was enough. It's going to be close. Nice. So there you have it. That's Dragon at 5 Star Silver. And don't get me wrong, like when I first started talking about him, he's great. He, he is. He's, he's one of the top 5 to 6 acros in the game. I just wish that he hit a little bit harder. Like HBK. HBK can hit you for one mil. Ford can hit you for one mil right off the bat. Uh, R-Truth I haven't really played around with. I think he can hit you for around the same amount of damage as Dragon. And I just... Other guys came out that were better. And then I had to choose between HBK and Dragon. And I feel like I made the, right, the wrong choice. So I feel a little bit salty about it. That's it. He's still great. <laughs> he's great. And he's an amazing coach. So... So there you have it, guys. Um, that's Dragon. I may follow up and do a Triple H one, but my next big video I'm working on is going to be um, Memrock. He's awesome. The problem I'm having with him is the guy's got like 10 builds. <laughs> There's so many situations he's useful. Um, you know, he's got the kick out. He's got the finisher that heals. He's got the trap gems. He can buff up the tra trap gems with another red move. He's got the five-star purple move that gives damage per trap gem. He's got so many combinations, and he's great in feud and showdown. But you have to run him completely different for feud and showdown. It's totally different builds. So I just want to make sure I get it right, because I know he's kind of one of the most popular uh, cards right now in the game, and I, I just I want to represent him really well. So it's, it's just going to take me a minute to get everything uh, set up, and then I'll bring it to you guys. So... As always, I enjoyed making this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you for taking the time to watch it, and the continuous support I've been getting is, is fantastic. You guys are great, and uh, yeah, that's it. Like, like, subscribe, comment. You know, that's my favorite part, the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace mode out.